guys so i wanted to try something and let me know if this is something y'all would be interested in if it's not then i won't do it i mean i'll probably do it every now and then but i won't do it like i want to do it i'll explain what i mean in my last video i mentioned this devotional i got for christmas and i was had i had missed a couple of days like a lot of days and i wanted to catch up on it and i was reading it reading all these ones i've missed and i just had this idea that i would come on here and after i've already done the devotional i would come on here and talk about it now i wouldn't say i do this every single day but maybe like once or like once or twice a week or something if that's not something you aren't into, you don't think anybody would watch it or anything like that. Like, if that's not something y'all want to see, then I'll maybe do it, like, once a month or something. But I wanted to do it tonight. And so, if you don't have the same beliefs as I do, then uh, that's okay. Just don't be rude about it in the comments. You can come back next time for a different kind of video. But if you do have a beliefs or if you're interested in learning more about God or something, stick around because I'm not going to force my religion down your all's throat and I'm not going to like condemn anybody for not believing, you know? Everybody's walk is different. So, um, I want to read the one I read tonight to you guys and... Like I said, let me know if this is something y'all would like. I actually kind of really like this idea. Because, um, you know, it just, it just seems right, if that made sense. I don't know, it's just, I just, I like the idea of me sharing this with you guys. Because I, this, I really need this. Like, just the theme that I've been doing with this, like, all, majority of these devotionals have been about like forgiveness and stuff and I kind of really need this so if you need this as well then here it is and it's also like nine o'clock at night right now so I hope you I hope the lighting's not terrible my cloud is on the pink setting and stuff and so I just you know it's gonna be like a little Bible study or something. I don't know. But we're going to get into the devotional. Okay, so the devotional, this was yesterday's. This is today's. So each devotional starts out with a verse, King James Version, and then she writes a little something. It's not long. And then ends with the prayer that she puts. Like, oh, So I'm going to get into it. The verse is, For he has rescued us from the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of of the son he loves in whom we have redemption the forgiveness of sins and that's colossians 1 13 to 14. so whatever translation you read in the bible this is king james and so this was by natalie grant and so this is what she wrote picture yourself in a room at night the doors closed, and even though your eyes are open, it feels like you are blindfolded. You put your hands out so you won't stub your toe as you slowly work your way across the room to the door. Because your eyes are blinded, your ears work overtime, hearing every little bump and creak. The longer it takes to find the door, the more afraid you get. Now, picture yourself in a room at night. This time, the room is dark, but the lamp in the hallway is shining under the door. Even that small shaft of light cuts through the darkness, keeping your eyes on the light. You make your way out quickly and without fear. Darkness cannot stand up to even the smallest source of light. Jesus is called the light of the world because he pierces the darkness of sin. He shines his light into fear and death and shows us the way out, his son. We are no longer captives of the dark. We no longer have to stumble around finding our way, own way out. 
move to the restroom. We just have to follow the light. And the prayer she wrote is, Lord, thank you for your light that shines in the darkness. I confess my sins to you because I know that your faithful forgiveness brings light to every corner of my life. Really, it moved me and it touched me and I just I felt, just, I felt like I, that somebody else would need this too. When it, and it doesn't mean you need it right now as soon as I upload. You could need this the, a, a week or a month or now when you just find this video or tomorrow or just whatever the case may be. And I just, I don't, I want you guys to know that when it doesn't feel like he's there, he is. And it's just, I know how easy it is to think, well, he doesn't love me. He's not there for me. Why would he let all these bad things happen to me if he loved me? You know, like, I thought he loved his children and was going to protect his children and all that. So why is all this bad stuff happening? Everything good comes from God. And all of the bad things come from the devil. I can't intelligently answer why we go through certain things in life. Like, trauma or just, just anything, you know? Anything. I don't, I don't fully understand it. Maybe, maybe it's like a test to see if we'll stay faithful or something. I have no idea why we go through some of the things we do. Some, some things I kind of understand, you know, but that's why his ways and thoughts are much higher than our ways and thoughts. And... You know, that's why I'm, you know, doing this devotional and trying to read my Bible more so, more than, more than often so I can get those answers and be like, well, why do we go through all these trials and tribulations? Like, why? Like, why would we, why, why does this keep happening, you know? And he loves us. But, you know, so we just have to go through stuff sometimes and I don't know why but he does love us it's, I just I want people to know that like if you are a backslider like you believed once and you don't necessarily believe anymore and you're just kind of like I'm mad at him right now this is kind of like to give you hope and reassurance like he's there he loves you and he hasn't forgotten you or anything and I just I don't know I feel like I've made my point I hope I made my point I hope I made sense I feel like I've not making I, had, I feel like I've not made sense in a very very long time so just let, let me know if this is something y'all want from me and because I want I just I want everybody to know that you're not alone you can go to the Lord at any time and ask him, you know, what what's going on? What am I supposed to be doing right now? Or just thank him for waking you up in the mornings and, you know, letting you live throughout the day or whatever. And you can go to him for anything, even when you feel like you don't really want to we should and that's something I have to work on I am no means perfect like I am not the perfect Christian I don't pray as often as I should I don't read the Bible as often as I should but I'm trying and he knows our hearts and knows us better than we know ourselves and so he knows he knows if you're a good person and Guys, he forgives. If you if you are sitting there thinking I've messed up way too much, you don't even know the stuff I've done. There's no way he could love me. It's not true. Okay, it's not true.
I've made some mistakes. I know other people who've made some really big mistakes, and they're going to heaven, you know? Like, I'm making sense. I'm going to stop it here so I don't get too rambly, even though I feel like I rambled way too much anyways, but I'll stop now. And just again, let me know if this is something y'all would want, like a once a week kind of deal. I would read the devotion that I did that night, maybe at night like this, if y'all enjoy this kind of mood or something. I don't know. And and if you don't want me to, t to keep doing this, let me know because I, I do not want to offend anybody or make anybody uncomfortable or anything like that. It's just I thought I'd give it a shot. And I have. So let me know if you enjoyed this. Give it a thumbs up if you want. Subscribe if you want. I am trying to put out more videos more consistently. So put on my notifications if you want to. <laughs> and I will see you on my next video, which is hopefully soon. And yeah. Bye. <laughs> I don't know what this was.